OK, let's talk about endings for songs. Let's enjoy a little bit of music and we'll see how an ending might fit to it. Something a little bit like this. <laughs> That ending work? Well, this is ending number one here on this fantastic two manual, five rank original Wurlitzer cinema organ. Let's say we're in the key of C. So we finish our song on our C chord, and then what we do is we go to chord four of the key. One, two, three, four. That's F minor. And what you do is you play a minor and put the six in. So that'll be a D. So I'll play F minor six and then go up to a C chord. Now there's various ways you can vary that. I sometimes do this. So I walk up there. But the middle chord is a minor. Now again, that can be varied for any song. So if I was doing it in F major, fourth chord is B flat, so I do B flat minor 6, and then up to F. So it climbs, you see, you finish on your tonic, climb up a note, climb again to the next F chord. Really nice sound there. Let's now uh, take that in G major. So we're going G, C minor, and then that lovely sound at the end there. So that's chord one going to chord four. Is I tell you what, it works beautifully on. Let's take it on a little, a little gentle ballad, something a little bit like this maybe. Okay, so so if I was playing a nice gentle song, uh, let's do this one. So that's G, C minor, and then G. And that, that's a really nice ending. Lovely on ballads, especially if you do a little, a little pause on the ballad, something like this. Okay, so G, C minor. Really, really pretty for those ballads. Ending number two, I should say, is a walking down ending. And what this one does is it walks down from your final chord through a series of chords that fall down. So the basic chords are like this. So you finish your song, let's say we're in the key of C, so we go C chord, and then we go to C7, and then F, and then F minor, and then G, and then C. Now, what the best thing to do is to walk the pedals down with the chords, um, the extra notes you add to each chord. So if I do a C chord, I start on top C on the pedals, then I go to B flat on the pedals because I'm adding a B flat to my C7 chord. Then I go to an F chord on an A, and then I'm going to change the A for A flat for F minor, so I play A flat on the pedals. And of course, that will lead me to my G note. So it's, it's a walking down C, B flat, A, A flat. Then you're on your G chord. And go to C. So that might sound a little bit along these lines.
So let's see what we do that one. C, C7, F, F minor, G. Going up there. So you can see that the, these ideas are just just to give you literally a, like a, like a framework, and you could you can vary these. Uh, you could do this. A little, little walk up at the end there. You see. Now again, that can be done in any key. Just got to change the chord letters. If you're in G, it'll be G, G7 with an F on the pedal because we have the F, so we walk the pedal down. And then I go to my C chord, C on an E, C with an C minor now, so E flat on the pedal, and then D7. So. a really nice ending. Now again, just like in a lot of my other videos, what I've done here with these endings, I've written them all out for you. And so you can go to the description beneath the video and you'll be able to click on a link to my website, tomhorton.co.uk, and what you'll be able to find there is a print-ready PDF with notated examples of all these pieces of music. So I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, you're watching Keyboard Skills Pro. My name's Tom Horton, and let's carry on now with another fantastic ending here on this Wurlitzer Cinema Organ. Now, ending number three is what I call the classic theatre organ ending. Now, this one you will have heard numerous times over the years, probably. It's what we call a chromatic chord ending, and that just basically means that the chords descend chromatically. So, if we're in the key of C, they're going to go E flat, D, D flat, C. So they're, they're walking down. So this is how the ending sounds with a song. Let's play a big Broadway number. Let's do That's Entertainment. Now, if you've just gone, oh, I know that one, oh, I've always wanted to learn that, let's do it. Okay, so how does it work? Well, you finish your song, and this example, we're going to do it in the key of C. Now, you probably think, well, why does he keep doing it in C? Well, just C is nice and easy. There's no black notes unless you add them in. And then once you know how to do it in C, if I tell you how to transpose it, you can then do it in any key. And that's all, all something we'll, we'll explain as we go along. So, key of C, that's entertainment I've learned in C. Now what you do is at the end you finish your song and you finish with a C note, okay? And I'm going to finish my C, but notice how I've finished higher up, so I'd probably be playing with C, and then what you're going to do is you're going to play, let's just do it with single notes, you're going to play an E flat, then a D, then a D flat, and then a C. And you see what I'm doing is I'm pausing on each one. So E flat, D, D flat, then C. Now, it doesn't sound that impressive with just octaves. So what you do is you then move your chords from the accompaniment and move them not straight up. You have to go to two o'clock position over here. We're going to go over to the octave above middle, just above middle C here, where your melody normally plays. But notice how your hand has had to move up. get to the end of the song, you hold that C, and then play an E flat chord, then a D, then a D flat, and then a C. 
So the chords there are descending E flat, D, D flat, C. Now, depending on the inversion, the notes might appear to be going up, but musically, it's falling half a step. Now, what I tend to do is I tend to play the pedal with each chord, so E flat, E pedal. Okay, E flat there. D on a D pedal. D flat chord with D flat pedal. And then. Now, of course, if you want to, you can do E flat 7, D7, D flat 7, C6. And that works quite well. You can put the cymbals, I'll put the cymbals on over here, the pedals, so when I play my pedals, I'll get a, a sound like that. Let's do this ending again. Did you notice at the end there, when I went down, I did a very quick D flat, and then imagine, imagine the notes just falling away from under your fingers, and you just land on the white C notes. A bedoin, da da, there we go, a da dum, right. And of course, if you want to, you don't just have to hold a C note. Why not play some C, uh, some chords on your right hand? So I can play E flat, D flat. Sorry, D D flat, and then to C. So you can double everything up. Look. Let's do it in the key of F. Now, how do you work it out in other keys? I hear you ask. Well, nice and easy. Let's say we're in the key of F, and we. Excuse me, what you do is you go up from F, one, two, three semitones, three half steps. So F is your first note, and then one, two, three semitones up. That's the chord you're going to start on. They're all major chords. So if I'm in F, So A flat, G, G flat major, F. Now, of course, you don't have to play an octave high. If you want to, another little way of varying it is to play the melody in the normal area and then play the chords on your right hand whilst doing them on here. So, but if you bring your hands up together, it just creates that big sound for the end. So here it is without. Chord, 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 doubling them up. But if I finish with my hands up here, it can create a really nice big sound to finish off with. So that's the classic theatre organ ending, and I'm sure you've heard that many, many, many times. Now, number four, ending number four is a, uh, a different kind of ending. Uh, I call it chromatic ending number two. And how this one works is it finishes a little bit along these kind of lines. So you finish your song. <laughs> That's quite cheeky, isn't it? How does that work? Let's go back to the key of C. So we're finishing our song, uh, something like this. the songs you get in your first organ books. So when you finish, you want to go... And then... Dun, 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 dun. It's quite good to finish... So this uh, is another chromatic ending, and how this one works is you go to your dominant note, note 5 of the scale, that's a G, okay, and then what you do is you go G, 
G sharp A, A sharp B, C. So it's a little syncopated rhythm. One and two and a C, and then finish with a C chord. Nice and easy that one. So finishing off. Show that again. Really nice sound. What if you're in the key of G? Well, the key of G finishes with a G chord. The dominant, number five, is D. And you'd go D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. So you see what it does, it walks through all the notes from the fifth note all the way up to the tonic. So let's say we were playing another song, let's say something like this. get a nice little ending like that. Now, ending number five. We're coming to the end of the video. Oh no, well these videos I hope are useful. Hope you've enjoyed watching it and learning some great endings to play on the cinema organ. Now again, don't just copy these endings. Use the structures of them and put your own touches and finishes on them to make them sound a little bit more like your own, okay? But these are these are really good, and again, these these are just the only reason I know these endings is because I've listened to people play the organ when I was younger, growing up. Heard a lot of recordings, a lot of cinema organists, a lot of electronic organists, and uh, you listen to things and hear intros and endings, and you know you sort of think, oh, how does that work? And you get on the organ, and try and work it out, and then some of them are kind of stock, so they don't really belong to anybody. You just use them. Um, but it's a good way of you know, working out chords and understanding harmonies and things. But this is where music theory can be a great help to you. So some of my music theory videos on this channel uh, I think will be quite useful if you want to know about intervals and how chords, you know, how, why are we calling it diminished seventh and minor sevens. We'll, we'll do some videos on those as well. The last ending is called the repeating f last phrase ending. Uh, and what this one does is you repeat the last phrase in a three repeat loop. Now the best way I can explain that is to show you what I mean. Let's take a number like five foot two. So did you see there at the end, what I did was I went, Has anybody seen my, anybody seen my, anybody seen my girl? And then you're finishing off. Apologies for my beautiful singing voice there. So, how does that work? Well, we take the last phrase of the song. And the last phrase of this song, which is called Five Foot Two Eyes of Blue, has anybody seen my, and then instead of going to the last chord and note, you just play that three times. Third time, you finish it off. So, one, two, three. Last time. What if we were playing a different number, something a little bit more, more to it than just a standard? Um, sort of song like that. Let's say we were playing uh, Satin Doll. Now there you see, I've actually gone to the end, but then I can go round again. time okay so that was again the three times you see 
going around and playing that last part of the final uh, piece of melody. And so sometimes it can be two bars, it can be the last four bar phrase. Uh, it doesn't work on every song, of course, but a lot of songs that does work on. So there we go. So there are some hopefully very useful endings for you. Now again, if you've uh, uh, been trying to scribble those down as I've been playing them, I've written them all out for you. Okay, you don't need to worry. Just go down to the description beneath this video. There's a link there to my website, tomhorton.co.uk, and that will give you a print-ready PDF with all the examples we've done, and you can print that off, try it on your organs and keyboards, see how you get on. Now, I'd love to hear uh, what your thoughts are on this video, so if you've got any positive comments, please do uh, let me have them. Um, please do share the video to Facebook with your friends, uh, if you want to um, obviously subscribe, that will be fantastic because then you'll get notifications of all the new videos that I put on here. By the way, it's not just organ videos that I do, I do piano videos, hints and tips, loads of different things, and also performance videos as well, so do take a look at those. Thanks for watching another video here on Keyboard Skills Pro. My name is Tom Horden, and I'll say thanks ever so much for watching.